Hey everyone, Dave here for Peace Camera. In this week's video, we're going to do an unboxing and first look of the brand new Nikon D780. Now, I did a preview video um, about a month ago when the 780 was announced. Now we finally have one in our hands, so I wanted to do an unboxing and first impressions for you guys. And what I think is going to be the very last DSLR that I am ever going to unbox on this channel. Yes, we are still expecting the D6 to come out, but uh, I doubt we're going to have anyone wanting to order one. Um, most everybody is uh, going to be ordering more of the consumer line cameras or, you know, possibly everybody's going over to mirrorless as well. So... The possibilities of us getting a D6 in here is very low, so this will probably be the last of the DSLRs and everything I do from now on is going to be on the mirrorless side. So, let's get into it. Opening up the box on the top, we got our instruction manuals, we got our warranty card, all the usual Nikon stuff. Um, then we have our battery charger, we have our USB-C to USB-A cable. Um, power adapter strap and battery as well and the battery is just your standard ENEL 15B um, so if you have some of the other um, higher end DSLRs from Nikon already and you're trading up to one of these most likely your batteries are just going to work fine especially if you have the 15B batteries and we have a little piece of cardboard here and then let's take the camera out of the bag now, one thing I'll say about Nikon, I've always just loved the way they felt in my hands. That's what I, one of the main reasons I started shooting Nikon back in the day. So, here it is. This is the D780, and it feels actually just a tad more compact than, like, say, the 750, but it does still feel very nice. It's got a nice big grip. Um... Just looking around the camera, it looks almost like a 750, uh, but there are a few changes. So in case you didn't see the preview video I did uh, the other month, let's go over all the specs again, shall we? It has a 24.5 backside illuminated full frame sensor. Um, ISO ranges from 100 to 51,200, expandable to 204,800. Uh, it'll shoot 7 frames per second at full resolution RAW and now is able to shoot up to 1 8,000th of a second. Um, using the electronic shutter, you can shoot up to 12 frames per second. Um, now, here's where some of the hybrid kind of between the Z6 and the 750 come into sense. Now, that sensor that I just talked about is the same sensor that's in the Nikon Z6. So when you're using this as a regular DSLR using the optical viewfinder, you will have a 51 point autofocus system um, with 15 cross type AF. But now if you want to use it in live view mode, that's where you'll get to take advantage of the full autofocus features from the Z6, where you'll get a 273 point hybrid AF system with 90% coverage. You'll have continuous... Uh, autofocus and video which is new um, you'll also get eye autofocus which is the first in the DSLR but again the mirror has to be flipped up and out of the way and you have to be using it in live view um, as far as video it can shoot 4k up to 30 frames a second um, we also have in-camera slow motion so if you want to capture some nice slow-mo shots you can do that um, you can shoot out of the HDMI port to an external recorder like Atomos and 10-bit N-Log, which is the flat picture profile to give you as much advantage of the dynamic range. Um, and you also have the shoot ability to shoot in H-Log Gamma, which is HDR, which is now you're seeing a lot on the Netflixes, uh, shows and everything like that. And HDR content, if you haven't seen it, is quite remarkable. Um, on the back, you have the rear screen from the Nikon DA50. It's just your basically flip up, flip down screen. Uh, it's not fully articulating. Again, I say this in every video until I'm blue in the face. I wish every single camera had a fully articulating screen, but that's just me. <laughs> um, on the side now, you have two UHS-2 card slots. So take advantage of those much faster writing cards. Um, you also have redundancy, so you can... Um, Write to both cards at the same time. If one card should fail, you have a backup. Pros love having this. Um, 
I know I certainly appreciate having two card slots when I'm shooting. Um, or you could do stills to one, photos to another, raw to one, JPEG to another. So you have a lot of options. And taking advantage of those faster cards really will help, especially if you're going to be doing any 4K video. Um, battery life is supposedly extended to get 2,200 shots per charge. Um, that's quite a long time, but again, you got it. That's probably just using it as an up with the optical viewfinder as a regular DSLR. If you're going to be in live view mode and using the rear screen all the time, I'm sure that battery life is going to be going down quite a bit. Uh, so this is uh, now available at $22.99.95 for the body only. We have two of them in stock as of right now. Um, so if you'd like to come down and take a look at it, please come down and see it. So again, I get, I said this is the last of the DSLRs I think I'll ever unbox. I don't think Canon's going to come out with anything more. Uh, their 1DX3, uh, which was announced um, the other month as well, I think is the last of theirs. Um, that's also for the Olympics. Same with the Nikon D6. Um, and after that, I think everything is just going to be focused on the mirrorless, on the new... Um, Z line for Nikon and the new and highly anticipated R5 from Canon, which is getting a lot of press. Um, I'm really, really excited to see what that camera is going to be and how much it's going to be. But supposedly that that camera is going to be just amazing and really give Sony a run for their money. So that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, please do hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. It, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as I put out new videos every single Friday and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the D780.